I want to welcome everyone today with Ebony Throne Time with Viri. We're going to have kind of a fun episode this time, a uh, little bit longer video to cover some of the things that I'll be getting into. Um, uh, right now, we are waiting for SVS to start in another day, uh, two, well, maybe uh, two days from now. And there's some things that I want to upgrade and help my server win the war if we can. Um, so I'll focus a little bit on that, but uh, primarily goal, primary goal today is to kind of op open a lot of reward boxes, which I think most people like to do. We work all week on Vikings and events and bosses and monsters um, for the rewards to help us build our own city. So I will do that today. I will show a couple of uh, hidden spots that uh, if some of you don't know where the reward box is, that uh, it can help you uh, get some additional things. And, uh, and then we'll go into uh, one or two of the um, troop types and train some or upgrade them um, to help increase my soldier's power. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to clear out what I typically do in my day when I first get on is I go through and I make sure I click all of the uh, symbols on my screen to to get, you know, my resources uh, cleared, um, you, you know, uh, my tower uh, cleared for the rewards, any stamina, um, any rewards over the subsidy uh, building. Uh, I try to get all that done because I want it to restart the time and give me more throughout the day as I can play. Um, so I've accumulated some and we're going to go into items and we're going to get started. This is the fun part. Now we're, we're still in the uh, last day of Viking, so I won't claim any of these Viking rewards until it's completely over. Um, You'll claim your boxes here, and then you'll go back into the Viking event area after it's done and uh, redeem additional rewards there for completing it. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to bypass the Vikings, and I will get to uh, some of these um, other boxes here. Here's the Royal Thief, and you can see he... I only have one in there right now, but uh, you're getting these material chests, medals, three-hour speed-up, um, some general experience... All of these things you need. Uh, the candy, uh, I typically wait until the, the entire event is over for that um, just to accumulate. I, I don't really have any specific reason why, but I just do. And now we get on to the monster chests. Um, I've already cleared some of these earlier today, so I don't have a lot. But as you can see, you're going to get more goodies in there that's only going to help you grow your keep. And your generals and everything else. Now I love material or material crafting um, items, and then uh, also the resources. Resources really what I'm looking for today. Uh, I'm going to be making uh, some troop upgrades, and we are in that event for uh, I believe power increase. So anytime you do a troop training or uh, upgrade, um, it does count towards that power increase. Level 15 boss. Yeah, you see I've got 28 large material chests there. Um, the higher the boss, the more uh, the more rewards in, in the way you look at it, um, or the higher rewards. Uh, you don't always get the best things that you're looking for, but again, with the higher the level the boss is, um, typically you get better packages. And um, we're just going one by one here. Medium alliance package. And again, with the small, medium, large alliance packages or senior packages, the reward type is increased. You see, I mean, I love material chests. Good for crafting, uh, feeding your dragons. Uh, and you got, uh, I, I love the speed ups, one hour speed ups. Um, and then of course the resources. And we'll do a relic. Okay, we've got 20 of the 5,000 ore boxes. That's a great one. So I just gained 100,000 ore um, on that. Um, another Iron Alliance package. And we'll do a bronze. And a platinum. 
and you can kind of see, you know, based off the level of the package, you get um, better rewards from that. Mm. I love level four skill books. I've got a ton of them. Um, I just, I put these away. I don't touch them unless I absolutely need to change somebody. I've got a lot of uh, horns of recalling. I don't think I can use them because I'm maxed. Uh, rune stones. I only have five of those right now. Um, rune stones are another big one that most people have difficulty with. Uh, when you're looking in your general and you want to, uh, you want to, let's just go to Ban Chow here. Uh, rune stones are good for the specialty. And as we click on to the first one here, you can see uh, first level stuff, you know, it's not going to cost you very much uh, per click if you max it out. Now it does um, require gems as well. And the higher each of these levels gets, the more it costs you. Uh, rune stones and gems are the worst thing, <laughs> in my opinion, to have to utilize uh, for increasing the specialty on the general. But yeah, hey, that's what it is. And we all just have to work harder on getting those items and, and utilizing those efficiently uh, and not making mistakes. Uh, anyways, we'll go back to items. And uh, we'll go down to the gear chests. We'll see what goodies we got in there. Okay, we got some, uh, a bunch of little things. Now those there are gonna be for your Monarch gear. Um, you can improve the level of your Monarch. Let's just go into one. Um, Let's select the ground troop. You want to hit compose. So in this section, you can go back and typically most of them are at the beginning. Now, I've already cleared this um, yesterday, so I don't have any to upgrade. Uh, let's see if there's another one in here. Compose. Uh, so there's three there. You need three to compose. And then you move to the next one. As long as it has three, you can continue composing them. But the higher this level gets, you see in the, in the percentage area, um, the higher that percentage gets too. And that's the Monarch gear you're going to put on your, your Monarch to help with the buffs um, in several different areas. And I'll have a separate episode that covers Monarch gear. And we'll go back into items. And we'll just uh, we'll continue on. We'll see what kind of goodies we get. I love opening these things. When you have a ton of them, it can be a little exhausting having to go through every one. I really don't look at every little item in here uh, for each one that I redeem. Uh, but sometimes I will take a peek and think, okay, well, you know, do they reward me enough? <laughs> I'll never know. Uh, as you see, these just uh, these resource boxes are, are great. Uh, King Scrolls, I really don't use those anymore. I'll have another episode on how you can sell off um, some of the gear and scrolls that you have to, to accumulate additional um, uh, additional things that will help you. All right. Here we go. Here's some more crafting items, materials. Yeah, you need all of this, uh, especially when you feed the dragons. I only have four dragons right now, but it is expensive trying to feed all of them, uh, including refining them too. But yeah, you need all those materials you can get. It does get a little spendy. Yeah, oh, that's a nice list uh, of goodies. And we'll just continue on here. I'll go a little bit quicker. Yeah, more materials. Here's another material chest. Again, all these things are going to help you uh, craft material and feed your dragons. Those are the primary areas that you'll use these. Oh, in, in refining gear. Um, refining gear is a huge one, you know, when you want to get better gear, um, you know, level up. So gear is important in order to get the um, dragon gear or the acumenity gear. And we get in, yeah, tons and tons of material. Okay, now we get into the artwork. Here's where I've lacked in my game. And so I'm being completely honest here. In the beginning, I, you know, I didn't kill a lot of bosses. I should have. I didn't really know the game very well. And I think a lot of us, um, you know, go through that. Um, there are some out there. I'm going to give big props to my girl, Sue, Strong Uni Unity. 
she is the closest uh, to me in the game other than one other person. And uh, she is just the best at killing monsters and killing bosses almost 24 seven. I don't know how this gal sleeps at all. Uh, she's just constantly on the game and and uh, and she has a full-time job. So kudos to her, big kudos. She is the she's the reason Viri is here today because uh, she does help me with my account and she just uh, she's a go-getter. Uh, I, I, anyone would love to have her as uh, their teammate in the game. Uh, but artwork, so back to that, I, I, I haven't always been um, big on doing the, the, the bosses or relics and everything else, so I've really fallen behind even a lot lower keeps than me on getting the artwork that's required for the art hall. Um, I've since caught up quite a bit, but um, artwork is my main focus now. I go out and, and uh, on my own, just port around and hit monsters like crazy. Um, they're quick. They're easy, you know, you're really not going to lose anything there other than stamina for the amount that you um, need to hit. But um, every few, and there's really no rhyme to reason on when you get a piece of artwork from a monster, but every few you'll get some and, you know, that's just going to build you up uh, uh, to finish that artwork. And, yep, I love it. So typically what I do, I've, I've been uh, doing a few of these artworks. I'll go to the end one here right next to the gems because that typically will open up several more artwork um, treasure chests that if you do all of the ones before it and do the last one that I mentioned last, then you're going to have to go through and do all these again. Um, that's just how the game works. You know, they're opening, opening up um, additional boxes for you to open. So why not just get it all out in one time? Do the last one first that's next to the gems and then go through and hit all these. And I really don't look through these at all. Um, I just open them up and go to it. So I'm going to, since we're on that subject, I'll go to the art wall. Let me clear these out real quick. I'll go to the art hall and I'll look at the exhibition hall. Now here, I think I ha have two boxes left to do. The mask hall and the equipment hall. Uh, night equipment hall. Um, I'm not too far away. This is going to take a little more time. It, it, it is tough to get the exact ones you need quickly uh, to fulfill it. And then the one at the bottom is very similar. So, uh, you know, maybe a couple more weeks, maybe sooner if I can hit more bosses. Um, but there you have it. I mean, this is my goal is I'm trying to get three stars on every single one of these. So when we go back to the, uh, the art treasure, um, you see, I only have four activated. I need to activate that. In order to do that, I need to complete the night equipment hall. And then again, for this one, I need both mask and night equipment hall. Uh, but these will give you, you know, additional buffs. As you see here, I get training speed, march speed, march speed to monsters, um, all resource production, um, increases gold uh, production speed and sub subsidy. And Incini, and th these are the ones I'm looking for. I want the attack ones. Uh, Incini range troop attack, uh, mounted troop and siege. Add 10% to your, your existing buffs um, and you just get stronger and stronger. So that's what my focus is right now. Uh, okay, let's clear some more of these out. I'm always in here. Always in here looking to make sure I click on every option I can that's available to clear them out and restart the timer. So what I'm focusing on today is the event. Uh, we're in a power increase and how you increase power is by researching and building troops. Um, those are the two main ones for me. Um, you know, I'm ranked 34 right now. Um, I do hope to get in the top 10 if I'm lucky enough. Um, but it does take at my level a lot of spending. Uh, I need a lot of resources to do that. So the two places I look, look at first is what do I need to train? Um, I go into rally spot and I look at my troop details and I see, okay, well, I'm really focused on 14s. I've got a lot of archers. Um, I do want more uh, warriors or ground troops and um, I'll focus on one or both. It depends on our our server war and who's 
who's the enemy and and you're really viewing on how many troops and types of you know high keeps they have level 35s and this time in server war we have a seven billion player it's the first time our server um has come across someone that has exponential growth above us uh even for his own server and he's and then they're not that much older than us um so i will focus on a couple of here um definitely the t14s whether it be archer and ground two ways you can do that uh again you can go right in to train them this goes into the 14 um if I want to max at one time training troops, I get 16,105 troops at one smack, as long as I have the resources. You see both the lumber and the stone, I need to go get and put it in the bank so I can train these if I want. I'm going to lower it down to one though, and you, I want to compare this these numbers that you see here with all the resources to um, the arsenal building where you can upgrade you can upgrade your um, existing troops, which in turn really costs you less than if you were to train new troops. But we are in the power increase uh, event. And if I train troops, I will get more point value for the event than if I were to upgrade them. But I still get upgrade points. And I'll give you an example. If we, if we make easy numbers, let's say this uh, let's say this T13 is worth 100 points if I train him uh, right from here. And I, oh, excuse me, let's go to the T14. If he's 100 points by training and I go to the arsenal building and, and instead of training one, I upgrade a 13 to a 14, then maybe I, for easy purposes, I only get 50 point increase instead of 100. Um, that's okay, I'm still increasing it, but I won't get the, the uh, point value to help me with the event as much if I, than if I were to train a brand new troop. But it's more expensive to train a brand new troop. In the upgrade option, I'm training a 13 who I've already paid for and I'm just spending a, a, a bit more to make him a 14. So it can go either way. It, it just it really depends on your style of play, how you how you um, use your resources effectively. Um, everyone's different. So um, so I will go to the upgrade building, arsenal, troop upgrade, and I will choose level 14. And you can see here, it costs me seven point five thousand food only 2.5 thousand stone and 2.5 thousand ore. Whereas a brand new troop was 13.5 thousand food, 4.5 thousand uh, stone and 4.5 thousand ore. So it's cheaper for me to upgrade one troop than it is to train a brand new troop. Um, so you've already paid for that, that level 13 troop and you're just, you know, you're adding more resources. Other people look at it at different ways. Yes, maybe it is a little bit more expensive doing an upgrade if you've, you know, calculate all these costs and, you know, but you know what, if you have, if you have uh, 783,000 T13s, I, my goal is to really just to bring that down to 700,000, then I can train 83,732 troops and get the benefit of both sides, you know, because again, we're going to be working with layered marches. You don't want to deplete your, your lower guys all the way because you want to layer it. So, um, anyways, just food for thought there. Um, so in order to do that though, I'll go back into arsenal, um, upgrade in order to maximize it and get 75,000 troops trained it's gonna take me um, 567 million food, additional food, and, um, or excuse me, 567, yeah, additional food, and 189 million additional stone. That's a lot of coin to be putting out. Um, but I did get rewards and I redeemed some of those. So I'm gonna go into my food and I wanna see how much I have here. Um, I'm gonna max this out so I have a, almost 200 million that I can add there. Another 73 million, 10 million. And again, this is gonna get smaller and smaller as I go up to the smaller 
Okay, so we're almost there. I got 423. Now we're going to go to the stone. Stone, um, actually, I have yeah, quite a bit of. Uh, if I max that, yep. Yeah. Um, I won't quite max that. I don't want to keep tons and tons in there um, over what I really need. So um, I don't remember what that number was, but we'll just put that uh, for now. Um, the other way I can get more resources is by going to the market. Um, the market, uh, the black market. Uh, in this case, you can choose whatever you want as long as you have the gems or the gold um, to get that item. Um, it'll show up. If not, it'll be in red. So um, I would be looking for uh, more food at this point. And at my level, I can max at 200 million food boxes uh, if I'm lucky. So one thing I need, though, I'm looking at the top. I only have 134,000 gems. Um, I can purchase one of these boxes, and we'll, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. Oops. Uh, black market. Um, I don't see any food here, so I'm just going to go until, oh, there's a 50 million. I'm going to get that. I'm still not above that 500 million that I need to get the upgrade with the troops, so I'm just going to keep clicking until I find food. Now, I don't care about anything else on here. Uh, for me, 50 gems is not much uh, compared to uh, getting the resource that I really want. Um, this is just Ebony's way of uh, collecting more gems to make you spend more money or do more work to get, <laughs> to get all the resources. Kudos to them. It's a moneymaker, but um, we all have a lot of fun. All right. Okay, so I think I'm there. I got three of the 50 million. We're going to back out. And before I do this, I kind of want to see how much this upgrade will achieve me in the power increase. So I look at my ranking, which is rank 34. Let's go back. And once we do this upgrade, let's see how much it improves my, um, my level uh, in the event. So I'm going to hit troop upgrade. You do need speed ups for this if you want to finish this within the time frame of the event. So I'll hit speed up, finish all, and bingo. And then you'll click that little dot or that icon above the arsenal building. All right, so now that I've got um, 70 some thousand more troops, you see one person running there. I don't think Ebony's going to show 70,000 troops, um, you know, going down to the, uh, the main uh, rally spot troop area. So now I'm going to go into the event center. I'm going to hit the power increase. And look at that. Went from 34 to 19, just like that. The reason I jumped so high in this event is because I'm, I'm training T14s. And they are worth a lot of money uh, or a lot of points in this game. So I'm satisfied with that. I will probably make a couple of more upgrades before I'm done with the day to try to get in that top 10, uh, a little bit better rewards. Um, the other one I want, I do want to do as well is the archers. I've been trying to get uh, 2 million total archers, and it's going to take a little while because it does cost you a lot of resources and speed ups. Um, you know, this is an 18 day training event once I do this, but it, it's um, to get, you know, from 1.4 million up to 2 million, it's a lot of troops, a lot of time, and a lot of resources. So at some point, I'll get that done. I'm going to jump back into the items here. Uh, I want to show you an item um, that a lot of people, I think, miss. And it, it's important to remember where this is, but it's your tax. It's your free tax. Um, it won't show up in this list here, but if you hit special, you have these tabs at the top. If you hit special and you scroll down, uh, you're going to find your free tax. It's a big money bag with a rolled up scroll. Mine says 209. And you can use that. Okay. And you can use all of it. You can use some of it, whatever you want. But this, I'll just, uh, I'll just put a little bit in there to show you. So I've got free tax waiting. Click these out. We're going to go back to the market and we're going to hit tax. And so, um, I I think food is what I need. So you see there, this would have been zero if I didn't add 32 of that free tax to this. And I can hit tax right now. 
or I can move it down, or if I have more, I can, you know, move it up, but that, you know, um, 32 is free. Anything above that, that I want to add to that tax, it's going to cost me in gems. So, uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do 18. Okay. So it's going to give me 3 million, uh, food resources off of that. That's one, you know, again, we'll go back into items. That's one that's kind of hidden. Some people don't know it's there. Um, it's going to be that money bag with the scroll and use as much as you want. But I save those throughout uh, the week. Um, I try to use, you know, just the basics. It only costs you three in the uh, shrine. <clears throat> when you offer, it only costs you three in order to meet or fulfill your activity. Okay, I've already done this, so I won't do it again. But um, the offering here on the left-hand side, I'll put it at the top. It's already done. All I have to do is offer three. So I use that free tax for that. I don't want to use it all. I typically save that for KE or SVS. Um, so I maximize without, you know, uh, without having a bank there. I, I need that bank there um, in order to help me when I take a big hit and I need to heal and things like that. Uh, I'll use that during an event like that. Okay, uh, let's see. What else can we cover in this? I've done one upgrade. We've we've scored from 34 to 19 in the power increase event. Um, as you can see, let's see. Let's go to... We are way behind in this. This is really the first time I've seen our server ever get this far behind. We're normally winning each of these stage events um, the week of SVS, but um, it looks like uh, server three, 339 is going all out and increasing their power. They want to make sure they win this SVS, and uh, I guess time will tell. We've got some uh, nice little trick goodies going on from 360 that we're going to entice them with um, to get the points, but we'll see. It's always fun. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I don't know if there's much else I can cover. Here's another one. Um, Production boost, this is really important. Um, I try to click these on uh, every day. Okay, I already have one going there, but I saved a couple. We want to hit all of the resources. Production boost. And the reason why is because all these will light up when the timer um, is ready. And in the warehouse, you'll click the button that typically pops up here to clear them all out to gain more resources. This is critical to the survival of your, your game and your troops. You need many, many resources. So, okay. Well, that about does it for me. I don't think there's anything else I can offer in this one um, under the items. Uh, there's lots of different things in here. Uh, look for a future one a future episode that will cover how you can sell equipment that you will never use in order to gain um, additional items that you do need. Until next time, live life first and play Ebony second, and we'll see you on the battlefield.